Wix Content Manager, how to build your own database on Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a new video. I will show you how you can simply add Content Manager on Wix, step-by-step -step tutorial. So before doing so, let's first understand what is Wix Content Manager. Adding the Content Manager to your site to store all your site content, including text, images, and files in collections. You can then display this content on dynamic pages and control it from the content manager without the need to update the page layout. Let me show you how to add and what it will be look like. So first, go to wix.com and here's the wix.com homepage. Make sure that you already created an account and to create an account, if you didn't have an account yet, it's very simple. Just click on get started and here you can sign up by filling out this form or simply sign up with your Google account, Facebook or Apple account. Here I will just choose Google account. It's much more easier. And then after that, you will be redirected to your dashboard. And here I already have some website that I created before, but for this video, let's create new website. So just click on create new website. And here just select what kind of website you want to create. Let's select for portfolio, but it will depends on you guys. And next here, just select what are the features you want to add in your websites. And since I creating for a portfolio, let me select chat, Instagram, blog, and a video. Then after that, click on next. And here you have two options to create your website. You can have the Wix ADI to create your own website automatically based on your information that you will be providing. Or you can just manually edit and create your website on your own. Let me choose create your website with editor. Now I will just choose the website template that I love to use. And let me just find one here. So just give me a moment. Okay, let me check this one. Let me view this. Okay, I will go with this and I will just click on here, edit this site and just wait for the setup. It may take some time. So just be patient. All right, and now here are our website and now we can customize and edit this website according to our like. So here you can manage the color of your heater background. Just double click on the background and now here our heater design. We can change the color from here. So you can change the color something like this if you like. But I will just keep the black background that is nice. And you may also change the video here, the video background. You can add your own video. So just click on the background and click on manage videos. And here you can upload your own video. And I believe from this video, this text here is from this video because I can't select it. But to add text, just click on the add icon and then just click on add text. And here you can add your text here. And also you can add button if you like to add button. Let me add button here. And then from this button, you can link it to different page. So you can just select pages here or you can create a new page. Or also you can link it to different websites. So just go to website and copy and paste the link or URL here. To remove it, just select and hit the delete button on your keyboard. And also you can add strip here by selecting this add icon and you can add classic, feature, about, service, and here you can also select the templates. So for example, I will add theme here and then I will choose this template and here we added a new strip and uh, you can edit the text and change the photo here. You may also change the menu name over here. So just go to your menu and pages and double click to rename the uh, 
menu page. Now let's go ahead and add content manager. So just click on add icon again and over here you can see the content manager. And by adding content manager you can easily manage your site content. With this you can set up content collection, create 100s of dynamic pages, and collect info from these site visitors. I will go ahead and click on add to site and here you can choose your preset. You can do item list if you have online website, projects to showcase your projects, service if you are offering some services in your website, latest news if your website is about news, portfolio is like what we created right now, recipes if you are cooking or if you are creating a cooking website, property listing for real estate, courses for a tutorial or educational website, job listing, and team members. So let me go ahead and choose portfolio here since the website that I created is portfolio. And let me check the info first. So from this content manager, you'll get this a three different view like collection view. You can manage content and display it on your dynamic pages on your site. And dynamic list page, it display content from your collection on a single page. And lastly, the third one is the dynamic item pages. It display play each item from your collection on a separate page. So let me go ahead and click on add to site for us to see it. And just wait for the creating pages. It may take a little time for this one to finish. So let's be patient again. And now here it is the first collection view. From here you can easily edit each of this item for your portfolio. So for portfolio, you can do list of the projects here that you created from the past to showcase your work. So let me just close this. And as you can see here, a new page has been created for your portfolio. And let's check the preview to see what it really looked like. So here you can see all the items in one page. And when you click on this item, it will redirect you to another page that talk about this specific item. And that is what Content Manager do. And to edit each item, it's very simple. Just back to Editor. And over here, you can see this icon, Portfolio Item. So just click on this and click Manage Content. And here you can edit each item easily and you can add more item as well. To delete some item, just right click and select delete item. And that's how you can easily add content manager on Wix and have your own database. With a content manager, your content is safe and kept in a separate environment to your design. As you can see here in your menu pages, you have two different content for your site page and for your content manager. This allows you to update your site content as often as you'd like without having to update the site design. With a content manager, you minimize the amount of effort to build and manage your site. At the same time, you are keeping it SEO friendly, no matter how much content you have. And don't forget to click on publish once you are done designing your website for it to be on live for your audience to see your beautiful website. So I guess that's all for today's video. If you have any question, just comment down below and thank you for watching.